Hi guys, welcome back to La Lucha is Real podcast. I am your host E Death, and I'm Angel. I'm not. I was, I was not gonna do the A Jill. <laughs> Oh, you know what that fucking reminds me what? of? Because um, we were, I was telling, um, I don't even know who I was telling, but I was saying something along the lines of like, dude, I wish Val and I had like a cuter like couple name. Because you know how like people combine their names? Like, yeah. Brad Jelena and like, what were, what were some other ones? So, the Selena and Justin. Jelena yeah. or whatever. It was Jelena. I was like, me and Val have the ugliest fucking couple name. Let's see. What is it? Vagil. <laughs> it's either vagil <laughs> like vagisil <laughs> like the thing you put on the yeah like, i think puka? so vangel it's either vangel i mean i guess it could be vangel or valgel but it just sounds ugly it sounds like what if you um or it could be like angel teen but then that's fucking ugly too angel teen. <laughs> sounds like cl- like some kind of cookie that I wouldn't eat. <laughs> Sometimes like I'll be a heat that cookie. <laughs> well, some angel teens. Some angel teens. I we probably got raisins in them. Yes. <laughs> our, some of our friends are probably listening. They're like, hey, there's nothing wrong with raisins. There's, yes, there is. In a cookie, it just, no. Are you a fan of oatmeal raisin? Fuck no. I like oatmeal cookies with chocolate chips. But I hate when they fucking, I think it has chocolate chips and it ends up it's being raisins. It's actually a fucking raisin, yeah. Fucking ugly. My favorite cookies, I literally just gave you one. Yeah. It's, you guys, if you guys have, does, I don't think Smith's is everywhere, right? Like no, a, because it changes its name. So you, I think it's like Smith's, I think it's the same family as Ralph's. Is it? Yeah, around like. I'm to correct me if I'm girl, wrong. Girl, I thought you were gonna say O'Reilly. I'm like, girl, it's <laughs> Auto Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't laugh. Why? Don't laugh. We can't laugh anymore. Why? I literally read. <laughs> I re- Don't laugh. I'm serious. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at I'm, me like that. I'm about to start laughing. <laughs> Why? No, don't laugh. I read some. I read a fucking article that like is crazy, and I think we should just stop laughing at our podcast. Wait, what the hell does this article say? Okay, ready? Did you know that you could die from laughing? No. Yes. Actually, you could really die from laughing and people have died from laughing. How? Because of as as no pueden decirle. Because of asphyxiation? Is that how you say it? Asphyxiation. Asphyxiation? (laughs) Asphyxiation. (laughs) Stop, no laughing is Seriously, no, because you can't <laughs> breathe, <laughs> because you can't breathe, and because um, it could cause a stroke. Have you ever gotten lightheaded when you're laughing? Yeah, girl, the amount of times where I thought I was gonna pass out. Yeah, and that you're, could cause. You're death. right. And if if anybody has like an aneurysm or something like that, mm-hmm. and they don't know about it, could pop it. Oh shit! I had no idea. So be careful when you laugh too hard. <laughs> And there's been people that have died because of laughter. It's rare. It's very rare, but... That's mm-hmm. crazy. But I feel like nowadays anything can kill you. That's true, bro. <laughs> like, you you just don't do anything and that cl- kills you, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um. that, that's, my, that's my fun fact of the day. <laughs> you think we could do a podcast without laughing? No. I think we can. <laughs> no. <I don't>, <laughs> okay, it starts right now. I I already am um, laughing. Okay, like, can, it starts right now. Okay. Okay. But like smiling counts. Okay, smiling, but like don't like ha 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 ha. Okay. Eh. So I didn't even finish telling my friends here my favorite cookies. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> See, no, you, you no already, you what already, the fuck? You already fucked up. I did. You did too. You said ha ha. That counts. Yeah, that counts. Okay. Oh man. No, we're dying. Animal. Um, so I didn't finish telling my friends. So my favorite cookie, cookies, is um, from Smith's. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it's called in different states. I think it's like Ralph's. In I know in Cali, some of them are Ralph's. Ralph's. Okay, well, this Smith's store 
has like it's like their cookies like their own store cookies and they're called and like you have to go to like the bakery okay not the cookie aisle you got to go to like the bake the bakery area and they have these like banana nut chocolate chip cookies and they almost you know what they look like because they're you can get the minis or you can get like the actual full-blown cookies um it's almost like they baked muffins and then just cut the muffin top mm-hmm. kind of like from dutch bros taste. right yeah, they have the muffin tops. The top. muffin tops? Oh, you know that? Yeah. You've gone to Dutch Bros? Yeah. With who? My sister and my cousins. Oh, okay. <laughs> the fuck? It's because Angel doesn't like coffee, guys. So when she tells me like stuff like that, it throws me off because I'm like, why the fuck were you there? <laughs> like, I know it- they have more drinks, but you wouldn't purposely go out of your way. To get a drink there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. No, I went because of my sister and uh, my cousins. And then one time I went with my mom. Oh, okay. Yeah, because my mom that, that makes sense. Okay. needed her coffee. I, I'll accept that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but um, the muffins, it's kind of like a muffin top, but it's like a very, like, <sighs> soft baked cookie. Mm-hmm. And it's, oh my God, my favorite. It's really good. It's really good. Well, so one of my favorite cookies, Um, they're called cowboy cookies. And you find them everywhere, almost everywhere in, well, I know in Austin, you can find mm-hmm. them. Uh, every coffee shop has, like, their own variation. Mm-hmm. But I really like the H-E-B ones. What, yeah. what is it? Like, what's... It's oatmeal. What, what makes it a cowboy cookie? An oatmeal cookie with chocolate chips and walnuts. Oh, I gotta try this. Mm. And then some people, like I said, it has a variation. Some people put, like, coconut, like, uh-huh. coconut shavings or whatever. Mm-hmm. What is it called? I don't fucking know. But yeah, it's really good. Some of them make it soft bake. I like um, the hard ones because mm. I like dunking them. Okay. See, I'm more of a soft baked cookie kind of person. For me, like soft- very bready. Like oh, you see, you like a bready cookie. I like a traditional, like an ooey gooey cookie, like a, you know, uh-huh. or um, or a hard cookie because okay. I like depending on my mood if I'm gonna yeah. dunk or not. You know, <laughs> like if, if gonna, I'm gonna dunk. If you're gonna dunk. Yeah. So, in mi cafecito, because I don't yeah. really drink milk like that. So. <laughs> okay. Um, what? Oh, shit. I keep hitting that thing. Um, yeah, you're going to blow our amigos' ears out. Oh, my bad. Me too. So, what were your peaks and leaks this week? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I fucked up with laughing. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I don't I didn't know. I'm telling, girl, I still, we have not decided on what to call this. So we're just gonna put like peaks and leaks. I was like, "What's your peak and leak?" You you said that, and it just reminded me of like just popping a squat and fucking leaking there. That's um, literally what it reminded me of. Oh, um, we will have to come up with something. Um, <laughs> and it was. Um, <laughs> you sounded like one of the fucking like Sesame Street fucking char- well, Oscar. There you go. <laughs> you sounded like Oscar. Oh, I forgot about. Okay, so before this episode, sorry guys, I'm just changing it real quick. We were talking about. Um, well, you could just like cut that little part and add it. Oh, okay. Then I'll add it right here. You know what you sound like? What? You know the fucking vacuum from Teletubbies? Yes, bitch. I know. <laughs> when it's eating the custard that, that they drop yeah. on the floor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what you sounded like. Mm. <laughs> That's so fucking random. <laughs> I've always wanted to try that custard, bro. <laughs> The Teletubby concert? I don't know. It looks so good. <laughs> Fuck. Can you believe that baby, the son or whatever, mm-hmm. is already like a grown ass adult and shit? Like, hella grown. Like, that must be okay. I think so. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know because we were. we're. Oh, well, no, you're right. Well, I don't know because when was that even filmed? I don't fucking know. <laughs> well, damn. We're going to have to look. The, hold on. I'm gonna I can't believe they. You know, I can't believe that they like. um. Because they took out the Teletubbies because why? Something about like. I don't know. Sexually ex- something, something. Wait, what? Yes. Shut the fuck something, up. Something like that, bro. Can you know? She's 27. She? Yeah. Oh, damn. I always thought it was a, a boy son. No, it's a girl son. And she's 27 now. So she's a little bit younger than us. Damn. So why shit? was hold on now I have to look up why yeah. Teletubbies was. something like that or maybe I'm making shit up. Oh, they decided to cancel it because the show was not turning a profit anymore. Mm. It was getting too stale. Which one was your favorite? It was guess. 
Who do I look like like it would be my favorite? This is your hair, girl. The red one. Yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite, It was Poe. My- right, Poe? I don't know. I think so. I don't even remember Pinky anymore. Pinky Dinky. Dixie. La La Poe. Yes. Yeah. The red one was my favorite, and the purple one was my sister's. Hmm. Yeah. I like the red one, and then, well, my sisters didn't didn't go through the era of Teletubbies. Know. Yeah, they're probably like, who the fuck is <laughs> Do you remember Roly Poly? Yeah. Oh, my God. I used to watch that shit, yeah, too. Yeah, girl. On uh, then PBS, uh, PBS Kids shows, those were my shit because I didn't have no cable. So, pero ya sabes que PBS now does it all day. Like, they show cartoons all day, every 24-7. No way. Yes. Which one was your favorite one? Well, it depends on what era of a kid you're talking about. Because I feel like I was very much a, f- a Teletubbies um, Barney fan mm-hmm. when I was little. Like, mm-hmm. little, little. But then once I grew up and I was, like, a little bit bigger, um, I really like Cyber Chase. Oh, my God. Cyber <laughs> Chase was so good. Yes, I love Cyber Chase. Do you Chase. remember Maya and Miguel? Maya and Miguel. That was a good one. Um, do you remember this one? With, what is it called with the cat? Do you, do you remember the one with the cat? It used to be, like, super early in the mornings. Oh, my God. It was, like, a Chinese cat. Oh, I forgot. But do you, like, because, I don't, I remember, it was, like, it was based, like, in China. Like, you, she, the cat, I don't was she it. used to live, like, in a, um, in a palace. I don't remember. No? No. That's where I learned what pot stickers were. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, because we <laughs> talked about like the origin of pots, pot stickers. Uh. You know which one that was also? Mm. Oh, well, Dragon Tales. Okay, Dragon Tales. Um, library with the lions. Oh, what was it called? Oh, I don't know. But do you know which one I'm talking about? I think so. The lions library. I don't fucking know, but it was a huge library, and there was lions. That was like the main characters. Oh, I think I might be confusing it with reading library or something like or that. Or maybe it's a uh, girl. I don't know. Now I have to look up. God dang, being all nostalgic over here. Reading library, library, PBS, lions. Read a, between the lions. Let me see. It was called between the lions. Oh, yes, I remember yes. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so since we were talking about like nostalgic shows, that's one of my favorites. Sesame Street? Yeah. I yeah. used to like it too. It's still, it's still running too, kind of. Is it? Mm-hmm, I think so. Oh. Well, they have Sesame Street land and everything in Cali. Where? There's like a, yeah, there, I don't know where exactly. I think it's near the other theme parks in Southern mm-hmm. California. But yeah, they have like a Sesame Street. Oh, that's so cool. And it makes you seem like you're actually in Sesame Street. Obviously, it's for little, little kids, but. Who were your favorite Sesame Street characters? Who do you think? Don't tell me it was Elmo. No. Who? Elmo was cool, though. Who? The fuck? You got shit on Elmo? Oscar. Okay. I liked um cookies and he liked cookies and we related in that. Oh. Okay. Also, uh, there was another one. Do you she- remember Ernie and Bert? Yes. I, I really <laughs> liked them because their fucking little like banter was so funny yeah. to me. I was like. And then one of them had like a unibrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who's the trash can one? Because I really liked him. I thought that was Oscar. Oh. Wait, I'm I'm confusing them one. The, mm-hmm. Then I'm calling Oscar both the Cookie Monster. And Oscar, the trash can guy. That I like both of them. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oscar, the trash can guy, was yeah. top tier. That's. I, I was like, like damn, why he's so grouchy? And mm-hmm. now I'm in adulthood, okay. and I understand why he's so grouchy. Oh, okay. So then, like, Kermit and Miss Piggy, where are they from? They're from the They're Muppets. The Muppets. There I, we go. I, I don't like the Muppets. You didn't like the Muppets? No. Never liked them. Still don't like them. I'm sorry. It's just not my cup of tea. Oh. They just, uh, they, they made me cringe. Ever since I was little, like, I would just get, like, a weird feeling from them. And I wanted to dress up as Miss Piggy and Kermit. I mean, we could dress up as them, but, like, I'm just letting you know, like, just that. You we, don't like them. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite. Okay. It wasn't my show, you know? Okay, but going back, what's your peak and leak? 
um, lo bueno, lo malo y lo feo. I think that's a fucking radio show. Is it? <laughs> yeah, el bueno, la mala y el feo, I think. But um, my bad. Let's start with a bad so okay. we can end on a good note. Okay. Um, besides, you don't remember the last time? That's like the two episodes. One of my favorite pants, like, like fucking the zipper broke. Mm -hmm. That was my... One of my other favorite pants, bro. Like, you know how, because thick thighs, you guys, thick thighs over here. Um, you know how sometimes your your thighs rub? Shave. Yeah. And then they start, like, wearing off the uh -huh. middle. That's exactly what happened to some Aww. of my favorite pants. And I noticed today where I was like, <gasps> yeah, anymore. Aww. R.I.P. to them. So. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, that was my bad because I was like, I really like those pants. But whatever. So you wore them a lot? Yeah, I wear them a lot. And then my good... my good i have a fucking hangnail sorry and it's like it's been bothering me i just want to cut it off oh shit i just made myself bleed oh my god did you ever watch the black swan or what was her name well the white no black swan i mm -hmm. think where she's trying to like peel a hangnail yes. and then it like it just it, goes all the way yeah like it peels her whole skin yes. every time like now i think of that all the time whenever i want to like peel like a <sighs> fucking hangnail yes i do remember fucking that I'm bleeding. um Don't look at it. <laughs> Bitch, you already told me. <laughs> Can I go back to what my good was? Yeah. I don't re fucking remember, but what's my good? Give me a good. Come on. You got to focus on the good. I always... Um, mm -hmm. And you can't say Teddy because you already used him twice. Oh, it's because he's so cute. <laughs> Although he was eating shit today, but... <laughs> Cat shit. Did We you have, like, brush random... his teeth? Yeah, like, huh? I just kind of... Mm, that's it. Um... My good. My good. Your peak? My peak. You see, it's really hard. Why is it so easy to remember the fucking negative? Mm -hmm. And it looks harder to, like, have the the positive. You know what? My sleeping is going back to normal. Oh, that's, that's a good. That's definitely a peak. Mm -hmm. Although I'm tired because, you know, that time I didn't rent. But I feel like I've been getting a lot more sleep. Therefore, I've been in a good mood. That's good. Yeah, like I've I, I've accepted to work extra hours at work, which has never really happened. They're all surprised. I know it by the face that they make. They're like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm in a good mood. Why not help people? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I think that will. Um, okay, so uh, let's see what my good and What was your leak and deek? Leak and deek? Leak and leak. The peak and leak. Oh, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just made up my fucking own or what? <laughs> There's a leak in the boat. <laughs> you don't know where that's no. from. No. Never mind. You know who does that too? My sister. What? She'd be telling me random like movie quotes and I'm like... Where's that from? And I'm like, what the fuck? Are it's you angel or what? <laughs> it's from Cloudy with a Chance of Me. Ah. Okay. Oh, I haven't I haven't watched that movie in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where he goes, there's a leak in the boat. And it's a literally leak, like the fruit, the vegetable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We should watch that movie again, bro. Yeah. I watch it so many times, but I'm down to watch it again. Um, okay, what was my views? <laughs> These people are probably, our friends are probably like, what the fuck are you guys on? fucking get to <laughs> They're probably like, what are you guys on? Or que, que pedo, que pedo, like what's going on? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> get your shit together. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> I can't guarantee it. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. Okay, peak and leak. Um, okay, peak, 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 peak. Let's start with the bad. So I almost got a puppy this week. That was so sad too, almost. Um, we almost got a second Frenchie, and we were gonna get like a really good deal. He's really cute too. Yeah, he's really cute. Um, so yeah, we decided not to, and then. We were like, no, we can't because right now. So like right now we are. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. Damn it. So um, <laughs> I like how you use your one finger. <laughs> kind of looking like a chicken. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> The camera. <laughs> I can see your, um, your chicken feet. Bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I will promise you, we're not fucking high or drunk or anything. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> the ADHD is ADHD. <laughs> like extra. Yeah. Extra today. <laughs> Like <laughs> they're probably like angel get to the fucking point and I'm, like, let me, I'm getting there um so i was gonna get a puppy and then like we were just kind of like no like we need to be more responsible like we already have one she's a handful literally and then um and then we we're like okay no especially because we have like so like these next few months there's a lot going on. <laughs> so we were like, you know what? Like, no, like, let's not get into their dog because we got a lot of shit going on. Yeah. And then Val, literally, like, the day after we decided not to get hit the Frenchie, Val finds a dog. Did I tell you? No, you didn't tell me because I think this was after... Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was it was because I was showing you the Frenchie, right? Okay, so I think it was like Wednesday or Thursday. Val was like, I don't know where the hell he was driving. And there was like a dog like to the side, like on these like rocks. I'm gonna show you the pictures. Like this dog just like abandoned to the side. And it was like, I think it was a multi poo. Oh, it it kind it looks like that. It's estilo de perro. Yeah. Um, or esa raza de perro, but he he and like Val was like, what the fuck? Like what? Like home, what's homie doing here? And not only that, but like I think what also caught his attention is because like you know sometimes there's just dogs out, right? Yeah. But first of all, it's fucking hot as shit yeah. in Vegas. So for a dog to be like out in the middle of the day, you know? Yeah. Um, but he was kind of like hiding, like not hiding, but he was like by the sidewalk area. That's not really a sidewalk because there's a bunch of like rocks and dirt, and but like that's where the sh- the tree was kind of like shaded, yeah. like had that area shaded, and then like a like a few feet away from him there was like a bowl of water and food so yeah and so val was like i think somebody just came and dropped him off here and left him there so it just like broke my heart i was just so sad because (sighs) i don't know pets are just so innocent and like I don't know. Yeah, and then looked like he was just there waiting for his owners to come back for him, and it just made me so. You're gonna make me cry. Yeah, it just made me. You're gonna make me cry, bro. (laughs) You guys, ever since I became a pet owner, I think I understand it on a different level. So it's like, yeah, because I feel like before you thought I was crazy when I would get emotional about Bowser. No, I wouldn't think you were crazy, but I just didn't understand that love. You know, like I just never experienced it. Mm -hmm. I, I. I tried to, like, un- in my own way, like, you know, mm-hmm. like, I I get it. People love their dogs that much. Yeah, but in your head, you but were I, like, it's just a dog. But, in, yeah, it's like, for me, I just didn't feel that connection because yeah. I've never had a dog, right? But I knew people could have that love. And then now that I've experienced it, even though me, a veces me, me enoja y todo eso, like, I could just, like, I can't imagine just abandoning yes right and so like it just kind of like broke my heart that this little (sighs) poor puppy was just like on the side of the road with like a fucking bowl of water and food so it kind of see unless you know like some samaritan or whatever like saw the dog there but also like why wouldn't you like take him take him to the shelter or something you know maybe they didn't have a mean maybe they don't they They don't have the means of taking him but then where did they have the dog food in the water i don't i feel like they dropped him off like i don't know but like a bowl and water yeah it was like and it looked like a plastic container too but it was like a plastic i'll show you the picture of what i mean but like it was just like a bowl of water in his food and then the dog was kind of like off to the side like under the shade and val just like was like babe like i can't just leave him here because val also has like he's very like emotional when it comes to pets so val was like fuck that so val took him and was like i don't know what to do with him and so val just took him to the shop and then tell me why this dog got super attached to val like he took mm-hmm. him to the shop y lo tenía ahí sentado, and then everywhere Val would go this dog would follow but he was so fucking chill that like people would come in and out of the shop and he wouldn't move he would just stay right there next to Val he would just be chilling so what happened and then uh, Val was like well maybe I can take him to like the the shelter and then like see what they'll do and I was like but I don't know I, at first I was kind of like well maybe they're just gonna tell you to like keep him because they're so like overwhelmed at the shelter there's just there's no space there's just so many dogs there and so Val was like well I don't want to do that tampoco you know and so but then like one of his co-workers one of his co-workers girlfriend who lives in California wants him so she was like oh I'll take him so but it's funny because like all the other barbers would like try to go up to him and like pet him and play with him and then he would just be like nah 
and he would go back to Val. Like, mm. he he got super attached to Val super fast. It's because I think he saw him like, oh, you're saving me. Like, yeah. I've been here. ¿Quién sabe cuánto tiempo ha estado allí? You know? Yeah, just... like, waiting for his owners. Yeah. It just, like, broke my and heart. And in the heat? Yeah. So, yeah. So, he was super attached. And Val was saying that this dog was, like, super chill. And Val got, like, really, like, attached to him. And Val was like, I kind of want to keep him. But also, like, well, first of all, his co-worker's girl already, like, said she wanted him and Val was like and it's like not the smart thing to do for us right now because we have so many like shit like so much shit going on yeah but that was my that was my leak because it just I don't know it like hurts just to know that this poor animal was just like abandoned like I don't know you find out like these like poor like you hear about like the fucking dogs that they go and they leave out in the desert and I'm like Bro, like, what are you fucking doing? Like, why would you go and leave them in the desert? Like, you're basically killing them. Yeah. Like, what are they going to go do out in the desert? I don't know. I don't know. Die. It also, like, pissed me off when the dog that they put in, like, a dumpster or something, remember? I'm trying to... The bulldog? It sounds sounds very familiar. Here in Vegas, they put, like, a dog in, like, a container or something, and he almost, like, died in this container. And then they found him, and then they had to do, like, a surgery or, like, something to, like, help him. But he ended up passing away because, yeah, obviously. Yeah. And they're trying to find... They have, like, a $50,000 reward right now for more information on who did this. God damn! Yeah, because it's, like... Uh, what is it like um, animal like abuse or yeah. something yeah so there's like a $50,000 reward and there's like billboards like when I drive to work I there's like a billboard downtown that's like $50,000 reward for more information um, that could lead to like some whoever the fuck did this to this dog I don't know like that shit kind of honestly I don't know I think when I see shit about like dogs like that I don't know it just makes me so sad Anyways, let's stop talking about the negative. Yeah. Um, I think the positive. Um, I actually, one of the positive, I know, okay, so Tuesday when we got together and we got to, like, schedule out the next couple months, like, a part of me was like, fuck. I was already kind of, like, overwhelmed because I was like, that's a lot of weekends. Like, it is. it's like all, every single weekend in September and October is booked. Mm-hmm. Like, there's not a lot of room for, um... Other there's shit. There's not a lot of wiggle room. There's not a lot of wiggle room for other shit. But it also made me very excited because I also feel like we thrive when we're, like... In chaos? Yeah. We... I feel like we also kind under of... Under th- pressure? Yeah. I feel like we thrive in chaos and under pressure. And, like, sometimes even when, like, our back's to our wall, I feel like that's when you really see, like, what we're built and made of. And we're, like, I don't know. I just kind of foresee us, like, really, like, taking off. Yeah, me too. Like, I really see us, like, really just, like, using this opportunity to, like, really, like, go and grow. Go and grow. I don't know. So I was really, like, a part of me is, like, really excited because I'm, like, I know there's a whole lot of shit, but also I was, like, I don't know, like, I love feeling productive, too. Me, too. That's, like, one of the best feelings. Yeah. And, like, having actually, like, looking at the calendar and being, like, oh, my God, we're, you know, we're a little organized. Yeah. A little bit. It's not all the way there. Not not all the way there, but. It's getting there. I don't know. So that, for me, was, like, my good. That's good. That's good. We definitely um have a lot planned. Yeah, so a little too much we'll because keep we you also guys posted. We also really want to do like like this fall. Me and Angel are determined to make it as fall as possible. Yeah. So I think that's even adding more to it. Yeah, I just feel like because there's so many, there's been so many years where there's been so many years where I feel like I wasn't really present in the moment and like Mm -hmm. I wouldn't really decorate my house. I wasn't even really doing like holiday activities. I wasn't really doing anything to like really like kind of like, um, what is it? Like, uh, what's the word? Ground me, Mm -hmm. you know, and like the present It really like, cause you know, like, Sometimes, like, even right now, it's just like, holy shit, can you believe we're in August already and we're almost in September? Like, I feel like the year just started. Mm -hmm. But I feel like a lot of us feel that way because we don't take the moment to really live in the present because we're so go, 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 go all the time. And we don't really live in the present, like, take in the moment. Mm -hmm. So I... I I feel like that's part, that's my reason for like this year. You know what? Like I really want to like live, 
I don't want to say like to the fullest, but like, you know, like I just really want to take everything in and really get to experience the now. Mm-hmm. And the and like, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I've always been like saying like, oh, one day I want to be that person that decorates. And I'm like, well, fuck, like you can start little by little. Yeah. And I already kind of have some ideas. And it doesn't have to be like the most expensive out there, guys. Like you can make it work. Mm-hmm. You can make it work. Um, I feel kind of the same, you know, like I feel like past years i love the holidays that's one thing about me guys i love the holiday season like my room because i don't know obviously I, don't, I can't do my whole house because now i have my i live with my parents and stuff um my room is completely halloweenified mm-hmm. uh from the bed sheets to like the throw pillows and uh-huh. everything like that i love the like the fall season i love christmas season like mm-hmm. top tier um but i do feel like i uh i've been the past couple years just like like not taking it slow Mm -hmm. and actually enjoying and saying oh i want to do like all these activities but not really doing them and my goal this year is to be like nah bitch you're doing them yeah like you know you also want to create memories to be able to look back on and be like oh my god like that was so cool when we did that yeah yeah like you remember when we were carving pumpkins yeah i have yet to carve a fucking pumpkin so, you never carved a, a pumpkin? No. But, you know, we will be doing that this year. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to see it's harder than it yeah. looks. For sure. But, yeah. Anyways, so guess what I saw? I'm going to like detour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck I'm driving this? the car. My car weak, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine would have been like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ya les, ya les tumbé los oídos, like. <laughs> um, okay, go. So, guess what the fuck um, about was son, was telling me about earlier today, and then he sent me, like, a video, and I was watching it. Okay. Um, so, the internet has a new trend on how to make money. You want to hear what it is? What is it? So, there's this new trend on the internet on, like, the easiest way to make money, and it's, like, pedophile extortion oh yeah you got my attention <laughs> yeah you got my attention How good? yeah so they're saying that they're like man the easiest way to make money is to extort pedophiles so i guess what people are doing is pretending to be minors pretending to be minors on social media and basically like fishing for pre- like for predators and like yeah. um pedophiles and stuff and then like just kind of building like a rapport with them and then even like some of them have taken it as far as being like yeah like i just really want like an xbox but my mom doesn't want to get it for me and all this stuff and then like somehow getting these pedophiles to buy them like the xbox and then obviously like some of these are like adults and some of them are like teenagers and stuff and they're literally like getting these people to buy them like shit or send them money and stuff and or like once they're kind of like like messaging them back and forth and like getting them like getting building like evidence against them basically Mm -hmm. and then like screenshotting everything and then being like hey you know like i'm actually like i'm actually not a kid and like if you don't give me like this amount of money like i'm gonna take all of this to the police and i'm gonna like rat you out and then they're like, or they'll be like, or I'll tell your wife or whatever. God damn. So I'm like, be- people are scamming out there. I mean, I mean, and you want to scam them? Go for it. I, don't I, was know, telling, I was telling Val, I was That's like, smart. when he's telling me, I was like, okay, but why do I low key not feel bad at all? No. I was like. That's the least you deserve. <laughs> the very least. Yeah, I was like, I hella, like, it sounds fucked up, I guess, maybe to some people. But, like, to me, I'm like, I don't I don't feel bad. Can I take the money and, like, submit an anonymous tip after, like... So, that's <laughs> what I was, so what I was telling Val, I was like, well, why don't they just report them? And then Val's like, oh, you know, like, a lot of people don't want to get messy with, like, cops. And then they could also get in trouble because... Um, yeah, because yeah, extortion, extortion is a felony yeah. in every state. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But can I submit an anonymous tip? I guess. Yeah. But like, then a lot of times what will happen is that they can't even do anything because the evidence was obtained illegally. God damn. So that's crazy. I was actually watching this clip and they were saying that like there's a lot of like teenagers who are actually doing this. There's a lot of teenagers who are like 
obviously like they're teenagers so they're already minors or I guess some of them are posing as like younger um like younger kids or like younger minors um to like basically like get these pedophiles caught and basically be like oh well give me money or and I like I won't turn you in or whatever you know like extorting them basically but and like I guess like the cops and like the media is telling these kids like don't do that because it could be dangerous like yes that is true there's a very dangerous component to this where like what if they find out who the fuck you are and like yeah what if they're like hackers and they could like track your ip address and then yeah. they find you it, it could be like very dangerous but also not only that like um they can also like even if they did try to like turn them in or, or whatever like they can't a lot of times they can't do anything because also that we're saying that like um it's not like a police like organized like what is it called? Uh, like a bust or like yeah. a like a sting. It's not like a police organized sting operation. So there's like a very thin line of like they could also fall into entrapment. And entrapment is basically when you like um, plan to seed in people to do something bad oh. and basically like break the law or do something. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it could lead into like that. And that's why they and can it backfires on and you. it backfires. Yeah. Because it could be, but also I was basically telling, um, I was talking to Chelsea about this and I was like, okay, but like there's also like these shows where they basically, I feel like they do that. They like fish for fucking criminals yeah. like instead of going out there and catching people who are actively make like doing crimes they're like fishing for criminals because like there was these shows that i would watch of like these like cops who go and leave cars in like low-income neighborhoods and like urban neighborhoods with the keys inside just waiting for somebody to go in and try to steal this car and then chase them down and basically take them in and i'm like bro you're like fishing here for like mm. you know what i'm saying yeah so i I was like, in a way, I feel like that's kind of entrapment, too. Yeah, that is. But true. also, yeah, like, even if they try, like, there's been a, like, I guess, I, there's been, like, certain cases where um, they did try to catch, like, I guess civilians tried to catch pedophiles, like, as posing, yeah. like, posing, like, minors and stuff. But a lot of times they end up just, like, letting these fucking pedophiles go because they're like, well, you first of all, like, you're not a cop, and, like, or you don't have, like, any kind of, like, you uh, illegally obtained this evidence, basically, yeah. so it's not admissible in court or something like that. So, what if you don't take it to the cops in the court, and you take it to the internet? You could do that, too. And basically destroy their entire lives. Yeah, you could do that. Because now, the internet is very powerful. Yeah, it, it is. Like, your job even finds out about that, you're fired. Yeah, that's what I was, <sighs> girl, yeah. Because that's what I was also, that's what also I was saying. I was, because we were kind of like going back and forth on this, you know. Um, I really like getting into like the like legality of things and stuff. Mm -hmm. And because I was also saying. I like that word, legality. (laughs) Sounds good. Um, We were kind of getting into the like legality of things. (sighs) And um, I was also saying, damn, I lost my train of thought. My bad. I'm sorry. I do that a lot where I just like, like the words you say and I <laughs> pronounce them again. Um, like- oh, no, no, no. That's what I was saying. Okay. So what I was saying was, sorry, guys. It's like, I don't know where the, my brain is not operating right now. Um, what I was saying was, dude, if some of us. The thought went like this. And it it came, yeah. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I was saying. The legalities, girl. You like the Mm -hmm. legalities. You like having the discussion. Okay, yes. Okay. So I was basically saying like, okay, maybe, yes, like the cops will be like, well, we can't use this evidence or whatever. But I was like, dude, all you have to do is take it to the internet. I was like, just the accusation of you being a pedophile, I was like, does a lot of damage because yeah. nobody wants to be associated with that. No, that, that's very true. That's crazy. Yeah. Searches up. It just, it's also kind of sad though because. Like, on the flip side of that, I feel like if you really wanted to ruin someone's life, you could falsely accuse somebody of being a pedophile, and it's just, like, it could destroy someone's life. Yeah, and it doesn't even have to be facts. It's just, como te the accusation. That's yeah. a lot. And I'm like, dude, that's super malicious, though. Let's not do that, kids. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I was like, fun fact. Damn. A lot of people are, yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, a lot of people are making money off of pedophile extortion. Add that to my resume. I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Add that to my side hustle. (laughs) All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be right back. Bro, today, this week I only ran two times this week. Dude, I and really And they were to, crappy ass fucking runs. Too. I need to get on my shit. I really need to start training. Angel, you <laughs> you, you got like T minus three months. <sighs> I know. I'm, I really, and then I still need to order the shoes. Yeah. I feel like ordering a fucking running shoes too, bro, even though I didn't want to. Mm-hmm. Um, because the ones that I ordered, I ordered so some, some that were similar to the, you know, the green dad shoes that I bought? They're super comfy to walk in, right? Mm-hmm. So ordered, I was like, and I, I didn't run with them one time, but I just walked a lot in them, right? And mm-hmm. they're really, really comfy. So I ordered another pair because they were on special. And they were really good price. I got them for like 80 bucks, right? Mm-hmm. Um, A different colorway, right? I was like a colorway, okay, like I don't care if I mess it up, like if I dirty them. Mm-hmm. Like they're just going to be for running, bro. And, and supposedly they're specially made for running. Bro, tell me why they fit fucking different. They mm. fit different. They're not as comfy. And, um, yeah. That's interesting. And I don't want to use my green dad shoes. They're too cute. They're like a... Yeah. Like going with fits. So. Yeah. Yeah, girl. So I'm just like, you know what, bro? I need to go fucking buy me a, myself some Brooks and just fucking... Those are... I have some. Uh-huh. Because I know you wanted to, like, kind of reward yourself Yeah, with those, I did. But maybe just, like, reward yourself now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that mentality <laughs> no for real because um i feel like if it is a longer run so maybe I'm just, just like, like break them in already yeah. and i love my books that i have right now but oh they're como a mi medida and i feel like i should have i need a half a size more mm-hmm. like to be re- like the best comfort comfort i could get because yeah. the last thing i need is to like lastimarme cuando esté yeah corriendo. that's true yeah girl you need to do that i mean they're good for short runs because i don't not wearing them but yeah but the long ones. Yeah, that's what I'm. I saw some Brooks. I got. I saw a lot of Brooks at Nordstrom Rack. Oh really? Yeah, not the good colorways, you know, like mm. the interesting colorways. The, the crazy ones. But they were at discount, so me dan ganas are like, you know what? Let me just buy them because yeah. they're a crazy discount. But you're um, not gonna do the ones where you like do the test and then. Buy yeah, them. I already oh. know what what shoes I am. Oh, what shoes okay. go with me? So it's just trying to find the shoe. Oh, okay. Over there. Okay. okay. It's just gonna be an interesting colorway, you know. Like, yeah. if you see me like rocking some bright ass neon orange yeah, ones, just, like my sweat, just, just, like just, my blazer, just be like she got she looks like a Ron especial, and that's why she. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, <laughs> yeah, that's interesting because I feel like runners love the crazy colors, but also, do you think it's like for visibility? I, yeah, I think so too. And also, honestly, runners love their just colorful shoes. Yeah. Honestly, like they just love like shoes that stand out. Uh, apparently, it, based on these running brands if you are a runner oh we started already yeah oh sorry my bad (laughs) if you are a runner comment on go to youtube and comment and let us know what's with the colorful shoes yeah i'm a runner i'm a trash star (laughs) yeah go let us know why runners i'm trying to be a runner yeah why do runners like colorful shoes yeah i mean they're cool don't get me wrong they're nice but in my mind, I'm just like, what the fuck am I gonna match that with? Yeah. Like it's not gonna match my clothes. Like even like. But also, I feel like runners don't give a shit about matching their clothes. That's. Sh- I feel like a lot of times they're just kind of wearing whatever. A lot, some of them, but then a lot of the ones that I follow, they have like really cute sets and nice shoes that match. Even the with sets. the colorful. Mm-hmm, oh. That match the sets. Damn. Never mind. Then I don't know. But then they got like, I mean. Either they, like, get them gifted or they got money because they have so many sets that match so many shoes. And how do you have the time, like, for a runner, like, how do you have the time to, like, break in all these shoes that you have? Well, it's because, like, date cuenta, they run so much. So, con que, like, you alternate, you know? And it's not like you have to, like, do long-ass runs with them. It's like running, like, you alternate, run a couple miles with each one every Mm -hmm. every other day. Yeah. That makes sense. Break them pretty. That makes sense. Anyways. So yeah, with that being said, Angel has to start training. I do. I do have to start training. Like oh, I feel like I'm training like whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, but I have to like intensely like start on that shit, especially build it, building up my endurance. Because right now I'm only at a mile and a half, two miles, and that's like a, a slow pace. 
No more light. Yeah, I nearly died while I was just doing one mile. And we're going to do six, girl. I so. Yeah, I got to start training. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's just walking, you know, like yeah. walk it first. And yeah. Then yeah, I know. Just, I just train I your body. I got to get into it. Um, but anyways. Anyways. Let's move on to happier topics. <laughs> <laughs> happier topics <laughs> than running. <laughs> anyways. What was I going to talk to you about? I don't know. I was going to say something. I'm still stuck on this fucking hang now. I really need to cut that shit off. It's we, bothering me. We, we, you want to tell our friends that we watched a... Uh... Oh, my God. But I also don't want to ruin it for people. So. I mean, if you if you haven't watched it, like, fast forward this part. Well, we haven't even said the movie. So we ended up watching that. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're gonna be like well, why am i fast forwarding <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're gonna be like what am i fast forwarding for <laughs> um so we watched the movie it ends with us and if you don't know about it you have to live under a rock <laughs> yeah because everybody and their mama knows about it yeah so it ends with us is based on a book by colleen hoover mm -hmm. called it ends with us and <laughs> this movie is starring blake lively and justin ball what's his name uh last name Baldoni? Baldoni. Uh, right? Baldoni? Yeah, and then who, I don't know who plays Atlas. I'm sorry. I'm not good at, I'm not a good person with, um, with names. With names. Yeah, yeah no. so. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you don't want any spoilers, you can like fast forward a little bit. Um, we're not going to give too many spoilers, but we're just going to no. give kind of like our opinion what on. What we thought about the movie itself. Yeah. So you want to start reading? Edith? Okay. So uh, you're going to see two points of view. Somebody that didn't read the book. Cause yeah. although I have the book, I didn't read it guys. Um, and Angel Who? loved the book. Yes. Read the book. Cried in the book. Yes. Loved the book. Mm -hmm. Um, so two different opinions. Personally. I feel like... I think most people haven't read the book, so... Let's, okay. Yeah, let's start with you. But this is just me, me, myself. And me, I. myself, and I. You know, I feel like so other people had... So until I die. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, I feel like a lot of people probably think a little different. Uh-huh. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan. You were not impressed. I'm not... I wasn't. Mm -hmm. And the reason being is... You think all, that it was, like, overhyped? Yeah, I I'm, I just feel like the, I guess depending on what side of yeah. social media you're on. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, I think so too. But also, like, I remember talking to you about this, and you were like, "Dude, I saw like really good reviews on it." No, I did. And then from people, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just wasn't. I don't. How can I say? How can I put my words? Girl, just spit it out. To say it. I feel like if you didn't read the book, there's a lot of stuff that you're just like, hmm? Mm -hmm. You get me? But you only know that because I told you. Yeah, exactly. But I <laughs> okay, feel like... Okay, but like, as someone... But even when I finished the movie, I was like, why was it you so were just like confused. this? confused. Yes, and you explained it to me. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. But if I didn't have someone to explain it to me, I'd be like, huh? <laughs> like, you were just so confused. You know, because yeah. my sister also was like, okay, why did that go... go why did... Uh, um, Ryle? Ryle. Ryle. Yeah, she was like, why did Ryle go from, like, zero to psychopath real quick? Yeah, like, there was no... And I get it, because obviously the movies, you can't... You'll have a time frame, you have to fit everything in, and yeah. it's not going to be as detailed as the book. I get that, but I feel like somebody that didn't have the background of reading the book, it can be, like, a little... Mm -hmm. god damn like and i feel i didn't feel that connection you know you get me with a movie <laughs> yeah <laughs> like i didn't it was feel so like funny because at one point i look over at edith and she's like like yeah she i had was like i had the dis face. i had the disgust face i don't know it's just like i don't know guys and even the top like like i under i knew it was gonna be about like dv i just i felt like because i saw so much shit on social media like, one of the actors, Blake Lively, was painted it more as a rom-com, honestly. I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, it made it, like, oh, yeah, whatever, lighthearted. Wear your florals. Hey, whatever. Um, and then you had, on the other side, you had Justin being, like, oh, like, trying to bring awareness. And I was, like, pues, vamos a ver cómo es. Because one is, like, acting real serious about it. And the other one, it just sounded like it wasn't, honestly, gave rom-com vibes, She how she was explaining it. Mm -hmm. but i knew it wasn't a rom-com so i was like okay and i just i don't know i went into it and i was like okay and i feel like a lot of the stuff like i don't know i feel like it was just a lot coming at you real quick yeah 
It was, and I didn't have no background mm -hmm. information. Um, I'm just like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't, and didn't impress me. It did not impress yeah. me. Yeah, I, I think for one, like, and I know Colleen gives zero fucks, but I was still disappointed that Blake Lively played Lily. Um, yeah. A lot of people were very disappointed that Blake yeah, Lively. Played. But I already went on that rant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. But don't get me like honestly, I think like Justin Baldoni or Baldini, well, I don't know what his last name is, sorry. Um I think he played a good Ryle. Um but also like the actors are like much older than like that, how, how they're saying. like play like in the book, you know? Because in the book were wasn't Lily fifteen and Ryle was eighteen when it all started or something like that? Don't get no. me. I didn't read the book, but I saw TikToks on it. N I don't think saying so. that they were young. Well, no. Cause, are you talking about Atlas or Atlas? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So Atlas, I think, was eighteen, and I don't recall if she was fifteen or sixteen, something mm -hmm. like that. Um, when when they when their storyline started, yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, um, their storyline was. Like, happened a little bit differently from because i read the book and it did there's i i uh, so i guess the to me the movie was i didn't love the movie like i loved the book because they did leave they uh, to me i just feel like there's a lot of movies that are you know are based off of books and i feel like a lot of times the movies don't meet up to you know like the books yeah you know like I don't know. I just feel like that. It's very rare when the movie adaptation it equals a book. Honestly, yeah, very rare. It's very rare. And I, the movie was like to me, it was kind of like okay. But I also think that to me it was okay because I had context. Like I had context of why people were saying the things that they were saying. And, like, why things were happening the way they were. The yeah. only thing was, I was like, dude, this is... Like, I agree. I feel like a lot of the things happened way too fucking fast. But also because, you know, like, the whole timing situation of, like, trying to fit everything into a movie. It's like, dude, this movie would go on for hours yeah. if they really added everything from the Every book. And, um, and I feel like that's why the books are always better. Yeah. Um, because you also get, like... Also, like, you get a lot of, like, her... You get... To know like her mentality on things and obviously you can't hear blake like lily in the movie blake lively you can't hear like what her thoughts are on stuff you yeah. know and like i don't know there was certain things that i was like okay that didn't happen that way and they didn't even this didn't even like really come into play in the movie and then there mm. was that there's like a few things that i was like oh that was different that was different i was like i didn't really like how they interpreted some of the things and like even one of the main, one of my main things was the DV. Like, not because I wanted to see a woman get battered or anything, but I feel like DV is such a serious topic and conversation. And like, I 100% would love for a movie like this to take up op the opportunity to bring more awareness to it. Yeah. Um, But I feel like they downplayed the DV a lot. I feel like it, it like really made it seem like everything was an accident. Like, oh, you yeah. know, like the, it didn't, not, like, como tu dices, not saying that, you know, I, I want to see, like, a woman, like, you know, treated like that, but it's just, like, it really, I don't want to say this, but kind of romanticizes, I don't, not romanticize, I don't know what the word is, but it, it wasn't, like, I don't know. Yeah. Even, like, throughout, like, the, the thing, even when you find out. It's like even it's just when, little snippet. Like it's not. Yeah, because like even like when she was like, then remembering looking back. Because when it was happening, the way that they okay, so the way that they again spoilers, guys. Um, the way that they painted the whole D like every aspect of DV in the movie, it like initially they painted it out like it was an incident, like it was an accident, yeah. like it was not on, like it wasn't done intentionally, and then later on in the movie when she starts remembering like everything that went down they that that's when you can see more that it wasn't an accident and it was because obviously like um 
a lot of perpetrators like to um, are also like gaslighters and manipulators. They will be like, oh, it was an accident. Like, oh, my God, it's because you made me so mad. And and I just love you so much. You know, like they'll mm-hmm. really like make you think that like it was just an accident or it was your fault or it was your fault exactly and then you'll like start making up excuses and stuff like that and i i don't know i just again i don't want to see a woman get battered but i just feel like they downplayed it a lot and i feel like they could have the dv could have been like portrayed better and um especially like how like even just the first incident like in the movie, it just, I, when it happened, I was like, dude, that straight up looked like an accident. But maybe they were trying to make us, like, kind of see it from, like, her point of view of, like, him manipulating yeah. her into thinking it was an accident. But, well, like, in the book, it, like, the way it plays out, it was not a fucking accident. And, um, Justin Baldoni did an interview, um, saying that he, how he, because obviously he directed the movie as well. Mm-hmm. Um, he wanted it to seem like, in a way kind of like how it is in real life where like you romantic like romanticizing the the guy the the abuser because that's how it really like happens you know like you're Mm -hmm. so in love that sometimes like things happen and you don't see it so they show you like the the real good and then they show you like the the bad but like how they they play it out to be Mm -hmm. because that's how it is in real life right um and i guess that that that's why maybe he didn't want to i don't know but even the playback it's just yeah it wasn't that like no girl you want to know something crazy um there was fucking a real (laughs) a real i came across where it says like wow like you she's like there's something wrong with me because i saw i saw what's his name again ryle do all this and tell me why i would still forgive him and i'm just like what the fuck Mm -hmm. and there was comments on the they're obviously bashing her because they're like bro it's domestic violence real women go through that shit how are you fucking saying this on the internet and then there was the other half of the comments that were like oh yeah you know like i would do too blah blah blah. yeah especially like you know the way Mm -hmm. i was like oh okay that was interesting but i guess that was the purpose of like justin wanted to kind of in a way romanticize them because that's how like it really happens yeah like in in real life and I, even though they didn't show so much of the actual dv you know like yeah i mean i guess i kind of get it but also i think the reason why he probably had to play it out that way is because it just like their relationship happened way so like way too fast yeah. like in the book like you kind of like you're on this journey with lily because the whole the entire book it's not a dual point of view it's like the entire book is, is is from lily's point of view and you meet ryle and then you kind of fall in love with the character mm-hmm. with her and so when the dv happens you're just like holy shit like you get taken aback by like, it what the fuck happened? like yeah like what the fuck happened and you're like oh my god like no like i actually liked you guys together what the fuck and you get kind of like pissed off and um in the movie it kind of seemed like the relationship just kind of like happened kind of fast Super quick, yeah and then it's kind of like maybe they were trying to do that because like i'm not gonna lie like i didn't really fall for ryle like how i did in the book like even my sister was like okay like Dude, that's why my face was like that the, you, whole, like, the time. whole time. You're like, dude, I hate him. Yeah, like, why, why, like, what, what's happening? Like, why are we with him? Like, from the start, we already know. Yeah. Like, let's get the fuck out. But you know, it would have been nice that it would have like, made us. Not, I mean, obviously, go more with the storyline mm-hmm. where it's like you know the build up, you know. But it was just like the movie was just straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, like, I feel like. Another thing that um, Colleen Hoover did well in the book is kind of show why Lily was in love with Atlas. Because no. in the movie, I did not get their connection. No. I was I was like, dude, there's no chemistry. Like, no. did you get chemistry from no. them? I didn't either. And it was very, like, it didn't really, I feel like, yeah, it seemed like from what I know, that's the thing about it, from what I knew, their relationship was a big, thing in the book right and i feel like in the movie it was just like a A side character yeah when it shouldn't have been like that well in the book it's like a flash it goes between like present to like backflash or whatever not backflash but like her her past yeah what did i say backflash flashback my bad (laughs) um 
But it's just, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I just, honestly, movies rarely ever, like, very rarely are as good as the book but um um, i do want to read the book just to kind of like see it from there but yeah and then it's kind of not looking so good for the second movie and like oh i really like atlas and lily's story yeah so we'll see how that goes yeah i know your sister started reading the book yeah my cousin went with us too but she was like angel she had already read the book and Mm -hmm. she loved the book yeah so She's yeah. like, it was she, not. She understood my pain. Yeah, she understood it. And then me and Iris were on the same page. We were like, what the fuck did you just watch? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, no. And somebody there was, explain. There was a lot of things that I was like, dude, they didn't even put this and put that. And like, I get it, you know, like for timing purposes and stuff. But I don't know. I guess. You know, we'll see. I don't know. It's just, just interesting. If they, we'll see if they decide to make the second one. I am, however, excited for Verity. So hopefully that one's not a letdown too. Yeah. <laughs> um so verity is another book by colleen hoover and um that one's more like so that one is i guess like a romance novel but it's also kind of like a thriller suspense yeah i know like yeah i kind of want to see how that one plays out Mm -hmm. because i was like dude this would be a great movie yeah when i read the book so we'll see how that one comes i know damn yeah, but um, I don't know. Like, I, dude, and even like, so like Lily and Ryle's relationship, dude, like even in the beginning, I was like, dude, why is this so cringy? Like, very. It was very cringy. I was right? like, what am I watching? Yeah. It's just, I, I guess I, I was also, besides everybody hyping it up, I knew how much Angel loved this book. Mm-hmm. And Angel never go, like, she has really good taste, like, you know, like, she in her stories and stuff like that. Uh-huh. So I was all, honestly looking forward to that because yeah. of what you've told me. And then to, like, see the movie, and I'm like, Angel, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah. I kept on looking at her, I'm like, and she was like, it didn't happen this way. I know, <laughs> like, dude. At one point, I was like, dude, that's not how it fucking happened. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, my, no, guys, the whole movie, my face was a Fuchi face. Like, the yeah. entire, I'm not lying to you, I was just like, you were like, what the fuck? I don't what even like the- Yeah, I was like, what in the world And, is like, happening? the shit that he would say and stuff. Yes, I'm like, oh, God, no. Yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of people cried and stuff like that. I did tear up a little bit, though, because, um, um, you know, like, one of the characters... Okay, so, spoilers, guys. One of the characters... Um, that was sad. Atlas, um, he, like, talks about how he was going to unalive himself. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know. That just... And I, Lily I, was the one that saved him. Yeah, basically. And so, like, that that part really, like, pulled on my heartstrings. Mm-hmm. Pulled on my heartstrings. But also, I feel like... I think I also kind of teared up at the end when um, Lily basically tells Ryo, like, I want a divorce. Like... Uh, yes and i think the reason why is not even because of how they portrayed it in the movie um but just because like i think in general like it to me it's just one of those things to me it's like i just love seeing women take their lives back Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like or not just women but like you know people who have been in like abusive relationships yeah. finally decide to walk away yeah, and it's and like have, like gather that strength because it takes a lot it takes a lot to be it's, like it's enough yeah and it's like in in another point they try to make in the movie is like breaking like a it wasn't like it was like a, a generational, generational curse. yeah like a I generational trauma yeah, generational, generational trauma I would yeah say. Um, they're like, they kind of were like, you know what, like, that's why it's called It Ends With Us, you know, Mm -hmm. because like her mother was also in an abusive relationship and she saw her mom constantly get, you know. Yeah. So I I think that also kind of was like, you know, like it just, it was kind of like a feel good moment of like, I I love seeing people, you know, finally, because it's hard, you know, like leaving in an abusive relationship where um, it it's hard i think it's hard because a lot of people are like why don't they just leave but it's like it's not that easy for everybody there's a lot that goes into play there's a lot that goes into play yeah i feel like um unless you've been in that situation i don't think you'll ever like people won't like genuinely understand you know yeah um of how hard it is to say i'm done like or i'm ready to leave or yeah if they have the option because as statistically proven like women try to leave 
a lot of times they just go back because of certain things mm -hmm. and by the seventh time that they try to leave most likely that abuser is gonna unalive them like yeah and that's sad mm -hmm. so. so yeah i think that's why i teared up a little bit because of that and then yeah atlas is so sorry. with that being said i have a question for you yeah so i kind of know your answer already because you kind of already said it so with that being said with all the movies you watch with all the books you read and movie ad adaptation if you had to choose between reading the book forever like you all, well, can only read the book or you can only watch the movie adaptations of the book which one would you prefer the book <laughs> you know there's people that do um prefer movie adaptations it's just because you don't yeah really want to read but yeah because they don't want to read yeah that makes sense like i think the first time that i felt that was um 50 shades of gray series yeah and the movie was so cringy yes <laughs> <laughs> I can barely make it through, bro, but they're I still made it through. They're so fucking all of them, cringy. All of them. Like, after one after another, I still paid to fucking go watch them. I was just like, bro. And then not only that, but, like, Fifty Shades is just... <laughs> yes. It's just, like, that. Like, out of all the fucking, like... Out of all the contemporary romance books, all the smut books, they chose that one yeah. to make into it. Like, that was the one... You see, that when at that time, I was really into it because I just never... So it was like the first contemporary romance book that I've read. Mm -hmm. So it, it got me hooked. So yeah. I was really, really into it. I mean, don't movie. get me wrong. Like, I, I, I like the book, too. The movies were not. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Oh, really bad acting. Maybe it's kind of like Twilight, bro. <laughs> I lost my sister. I think my sister said, yeah, it's yeah. Hella, it's the same shit. Okay. But anyways, you want to let's go ahead to our cheese mate because we're cheese already running. Yes, we're running on Tom here. Okay, okay. All right. Amigas. ¿Qué I pasó? I have a cousin that recently moved to Vegas. Oh. Okay. What part of Vegas? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I have a cousin that recently moved to Vegas, and mm -hmm. I'm very proud of her. Aww. She's recently been communicating a lot with me and kind of using me as her diary, which I'm totally okay with. Family needs to be there for family. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, she repeats some mistakes, and it's even getting on my nerves. I tried to politely tell her some advice, but she would just take offense. She keeps going on dating websites and hooking up with these guys late at night, like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., and she expects a relationship out of this. I don't know if she's just that delusional or am I just looking at it in a negative perspective. I just want to look out for her and protect her from any more heartbreak, but it's hard when she keeps repeating the same cycle. What do you guys think I say to her or... Oh, wait. What do you guys think I say to her so I don't sound pushy, but yet again, like, ponte las pilas? Ooh. That one's a toughie. That one's a tough one because, honestly, the person's not going to realize it until they realize it themselves. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I'm, I'm, based on my experience, I've been, I've been really straight up with friends and been like, bro, like, I've already told you I don't know how many times, and you still want to continue with that, 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 like, why don't you end it? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to end it or whatever they're doing. And then go straight back to it. Mm -hmm. And they don't end it until they actually are done within themselves. Mm -hmm. So I was, I got to the point where, like, certain, like, friendships, like, I was just like, I'm not, I'm done telling you about this. Like, I, I'm done to giving you advice. Like, I'm done, like, hearing how hurt you get, you know, because you commit the same mistakes. Like, just, it's better, you know, if you're going to keep on doing it, I'd rather just not know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's also, I think it's also different because like sometimes, and I think this has been, dif this has definitely been difficult for me um, because I, I feel like whenever someone comes to me with problems, like instinctually, I want to help them and I want to give them advice. But every, like whenever, not everybody who comes to mm -hmm. you with their problems wants solutions. No, sometimes like some they just want to listen, like be listened to. Yeah. Like some people okay. just want to vent, you know? And like, I think a big part of the reason why your cousin um, is taking offense into your advice is because it wasn't solicited. Yeah. Like, she never asked you for your advice. She, or maybe she did. Did she? Did she say? I think she did, que no? <sighs> honestly, the tanto que te pide advice, just honestly, just at this point, just listen to her and just don't, 
I wouldn't. I said, I tried to politely tell her some advice, but she would just take offense. I think it's because she's not really asking for your advice or your opinion. I think a lot of it is her wanting to just vent. Mm -hmm. And also she might be taking offense to it too is because she knows what she needs to do and she's she knows what she's doing is wrong. And she, a lot of times people already know what's wrong. Yeah. They already know. Most it. of they, the time. Yeah. Most of the time they already know what's wrong and they just don't want to accept it. And like, they don't want to hear it from someone else. Yeah. So that's probably why she's also getting offended. But, um, I think that like, and I know you want to like look out for them, but at some point, like, ellos van a aprender like por su propia, you know, like by their, by themselves, like they'll, they'll figure it out on their own. Yeah. And, and that's sometimes it just, it just sometimes takes, it takes someone like hitting like rock yeah. bottom for them to be like, you know what? Like I need to change. Yeah. I need to change what I'm doing. I need to change this. Yeah. But even like whatever you say, if they're not in the right place to take that advice, it's not going to, it's not going to help. It's and not gonna help. you already kind of, I feel like you did your best by trying to yeah. tell her um so she already knows that you want better for her and there's concern yeah. yeah but she just doesn't she's she's not ready for to take herself to that that yeah that step, you and know? i feel like she's not ready she's also not like open um to receiving what you have to tell her yeah. either it just it sounds like she's kind of i don't know yeah so you're more than welcome to just listen to her and you know be there for her in that way of just like mm -hmm. being like an ear like you know just listen mm -hmm. or you could also tell her you know what like i'm sorry this bothers me and i just yeah. prefer you not telling me this because it really hurts me seeing how you get hurt yeah like hearing about how you get hurt yeah also you also have the right to that boundary mm -hmm. you know like if you don't want to hear about this stuff then you can also tell her that so or just be like recommend her speaking to a professional you know like she can fucking pay somebody <laughs> to listen to her right. you know <laughs> exactly she might learn a thing or two <laughs> i mean with pain algo mm -hmm. tienes que aprender yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys um yeah i think that either like just listen to her if you want to or just like speak up and be like i you know what i rather just you not tell me because it hurts me how you're hurting so yeah and i try to help you one more kiki this one, it's this one, right? Yeah. Hi, amigas. It's me, Jocelyn. Hola, Jocelyn. Hi. I submitted my my story about how, how she dated. How, well, sorry. Jocelyn. He's a <laughs> Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Girl. Um, oh, okay. How, how, about how she dating? I don't know. Um, hello. Well, I took a pause on that. Oh, about dating. I guess it, that's what she mean about like she's, online dating, maybe. Yeah. You know? Oh, she's the one I think that submitted how she was like online dating. Yes. And, okay. okay. Well, I took a pause on that and started going out with this coworker from work for about a month or now. A, a month now, I just found out that he was in a ten-year-long relationship that ended badly. Told me he has a lot of things to work out right now, and he doesn't see himself being in a committed relationship. So Believe him. I literally was about to say that. Like, believe him he's telling you the truth he's not ready uh so now i guess we're just friends i'm confused because when we hang out together he holds my hand and cuddles with me that's because he <laughs> wants girlfriend benefits without the fucking <laughs> title uh, sorry <laughs> i just I, I know this rodeo yeah oh yeah i know it's too good um he treats me as if i'm his girlfriend obviously i want to be respectful of his trauma and he's really great guy and he's really respectful and is he um sorry <laughs> i'm sorry it's just give me a second <laughs> and he's a really great guy and he's really respectful wouldn't i don't know what to do i definitely do need to talk to him i feel like at this point we're not just friends or definitely something more but he told me that the label boyfriend and the responsibilities that come with him scare him and I understand. God only knows what happens during happened during the ten year long relationship. But I'm also very confused because we're definitely not friends. And t and two are we, and w are we just gonna stay friends forever? I don't know how to go about it about asking him or what I should say or if I should even say anything and if I should just go back to trying to date. Please let me know what you think, guys. You really want to know the truth. <laughs> Because let me tell you. Give him the naked truth. This <laughs> Where's that from? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God, girl. It ends with us. Oh, my God, bitch. 
<laughs> I just saw the movie too. <laughs> yes, that's why I was like, oh, she's gonna get this one. No, Angel. Tú sabes, tú sabes cómo soy. Okay. Girl. Run. Run. <laughs> and that's coming from somebody who's honestly been in your situation. Um, and on kind of on the flip side of that situation where you've been on both sides yeah, of this I've, situation. I've been on the side where it's like, oh, somebody came out of a relationship and we're I'm giving the girlfriend benefits, but he doesn't want to put a title. I've been on that side. And I've been on the ex girlfriend side of the long term relationship that ended badly. And let me tell you, girl, you want to run, like run. He's telling you straight up like men. I mean, lie, but also men tell a lot of truth in their words. And when he says, I'm not ready for a relationship, believe him. You cannot change a man. On, like, I feel like us as women, we're like, we're so nurturing that we want to be like, oh, I could fix him. Oh, I could help him. Uh, no, he's an adult. He could help himself. Let him go through whatever he has to do. But he just wants you there on the side to satisfy his needs. Without the title. Without the commitment. Yeah, he just came out of a 10-year relationship. Yeah, he's not definitely not ready. But that also means, you know, he just wants to have you on the side. He doesn't want to put the label on it. Because I don't know if he's only messing with you. But he also might have his ex trying to fucking do stuff. For all you know, they're in the we're working it out phase. And I've been there. I'm just saying. So I he literally told you he's not ready. And if you are genuinely ready for a relationship and you want that commitment from somebody, that's not it, baby girl. That's not it. For for your sake, right now that you're like I don't no dijo que tanto estaba con él, verdad? No. Um but I want to see the early like stages. A, she just said it was like a recent thing. Okay. Right now that and you're it not sounds so, like she took a break from dating too yeah. online. So right now that you're not so deep, deep in it, yeah, it's gonna sting a little bit because obviously, like you like the guy, but get the fuck out. I'm just telling you because that shit ain't gonna work. No, like chances are zero. <laughs> he has no. I, I, obviously, he. You say yeah, he's respectful, but yet he will do things with you. As for the girlfriend benefits. And not put a title on it. So how is that respectful to me? I feel like it's just a facade. Yeah. You're just wearing the rose-colored glasses. Oh, my dummy. <laughs> What's in and out? I'm just um, <laughs> what do you think, Angel? No, I Because you were like, <laughs> everything I read, you were like, uh, uh. What do yeah, you think? No, it's, it's honestly textbook. It is textbook. The homie just wants... Girlfriend benefits without the title. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. And I 100% I agree with you. Like, she should believe him when he says that he is not ready for a relationship. Especially because, like, I'm not going to, like, being in a, like, from someone who has been in a long-term relationship, like, what, Val and I are, mm -hmm. what, like, 12 and a half, almost 13 years. Or is it 13, girl? I don't even know I don't know. know. I feel like y'all been forever since birth. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've been together for so long i just think that if val and i were to break up it's just there's so much that happened in this long-term relationship that there would have to be a lot of unpacking and i would definitely not be in a place where i could just jump into another relationship mm -hmm. and i also think that you should like if you really want it sounds like you really want to be in a relationship and you want something serious i don't because she's also was like well i don't know how long that's gonna be but i don't think you should wait for him i definitely know no. i don't think you should wait for him at all because you don't know how long his him trying to work on himself and, and you don't even know maybe he ends up going back to his ex even though it ended badly you know yeah because at the end of the day you only know his side of the story mm -hmm. or what he decides to tell you mm -hmm. you don't know what really went down mm -hmm. so it could be something that they're gonna fix and then get back together and he's just telling you that for just for mm -hmm. you know and also i like how angel said you it seems like you really want a relationship do not lower your standards of wanting a relationship and something that's serious for this half-ass situationship i'm just gonna put it like that Mm -hmm. don't lower your standards your your value is up here girl like hold yourself to that value value yourself in the way that mm -hmm. your time your energy just don't give it to somebody who obviously is telling you that they don't deserve it mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I'm sorry if we were a little harsh. Yeah. But you gotta hear it. I'm tired of like people like, just falling for that textbook. Yeah. Man. No, I, I think a lot of people just are like sometimes in a place where they just really want to be in a yeah. relationship so badly, you know, but also no, so- like don't lower your standards. Don't don't lower your standards, like stay firm on your standards. And um, if he really wanted like if he really felt like there was more with you, then, you know, he would have made it happen. Yeah. Si quiere lo va a hacer. Yeah. But no, like it, he straight up told you, like, I'm not ready for a relationship. And he just, he wants to hold your hands and he wants to kiss you and he wants to pretend like you're his girlfriend without the actual title. Because if he ever fucks up and fucks around with someone else, he can come back and tell you, well, we were never in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And it gives him the liberty to be like, I'm not in a relationship. Let me go do everything. Yeah. It gives me like, the liberty to also still talk to my ex. Yeah. And try to patch things up if possible. Because a 10-year relationship is not going to disappear. No. As people, sometimes, even if it was bad, they're so used to the comfort that, yeah, they might leave, but they might go back because they're so, they want that comfort again. Mm-hmm. Even if it wasn't the best. So. Yeah. It almost kind of seems like, and, and if that is the situation, maybe it did end like super badly mm-hmm. and he's cut ties with this girl, you know? But, it, I mean, it kind of sounds like he's trying to make you like a placeholder. Or a rebound. Yeah. And you don't want to be a rebound. Yeah. Let's not do that. I, I think because she is asking for our advice, mm-hmm. I really think that you should just continue dating. Yeah, like, me too. Like, continue dating. Like, I don't think this man is going to be serious with no, you. No, like, from the bottom of my heart, run. Yeah. That man, no. Run. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> But I'll see. Ahí los vamos a dejar because mm-hmm. it is getting late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we hungry over here. Yeah. So, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure to follow us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Yes. Um, Leave a five-star review because that helps out our podcast a lot, guys. Like, so please, right now, leave a five-star review. Anything less. Hit the DMs. You already know. Yeah. And, like... You know, go and leave us a comment on YouTube because that does yeah. help us a lot. And hit the thumbs up. Hit the little bell. <laughs> de todo. De, de todo. Except for the dislike. Don't, yeah, don't, don't do hit that, that one. Don't, please. <laughs> uh, but it does. Like, honestly, even if you just go on there and then just be like, oh, my God, I loved it. Or just. Yeah. Or oh my God, an I, emoji. Yeah. Just even a, an emoji. Just a little emoji with a little heart. Like, that helps, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all here fiending for the support. Yeah. And, <laughs> but yeah. still, de todos modos, and you a sus amigas, you know, nosotros le ayudamos a ustedes. We entertain you. <laughs> <laughs> so, just, just need a like. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Ahí los vamos a dejar, okay? Okay. Que, que Dios los bendiga. Besitos. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.